everyone I'm talking about past lives. It's a romantic movie. I won't say I watched the movie, I would rather say I experienced the movie. I think that that's something that's peculiar to A24 movies. I went into this movie with high expectations and they did not dampen my expectations at all. This movie is Celine Song's directorial debut. The language spoken in this movie is actually Korean and English language. Let's dive in. The movie opens in a very beautiful way. First, we see three persons at a bar and it's New York City. We can overhear the other customers talking about this trio. Like they're trying to just figure out, okay, who are these people to each other? And the protagonist, Nora, played by Greta Lee, smiles at the camera and from her eyes we get to see what led to this entire conversation. We are transported to Korea. Na Young and here song, they are childhood friends. Na Young is also Nora. She has a crush on this her friend. But this blossoming friendship and this blossoming relationship was cut short when Na Young's family had to migrate. Fast forward to 12 years later, she's reunited with her friend via the unifier of us all, social media. They still managed to build a connection, they caught up with each other. But soon the reality of their situation is going on their faces they cannot be apart for long they have to see each other hey song has to go to china because he has his own things to pursue while nayong has her own life as well so they severe ties it's not, it's not 24 years apart that they see each other again but now a lot of water have gone under the bridge first of all nora is already married to author the entire experience of the story is just so beautiful because they bring up a korean concept in your is said to be something that the experience we have as human beings are not just experiences it's actually something special so even meeting a complete stranger is actually premeditated because it means that your meeting like it has happened before in the past years and years and years ago now that they are back together in the same place they're no longer she's no longer the girl he used to know from in korea and she has also grown so they're not really sure what they are Yes, they like each other. It's obvious that they like each other, but still, <laughs> I, like the story just really leaves you like, oh god, like you're rooting for this character. There's no one shred of bad acting. This is an independent movie. It's so good. I love the story so much because sometimes we just really try to make sense out of everything, and sometimes some things are just like this. Like, okay, what are we? We don't even know what we are, but we there's something here. Well, kind of even. That's what makes this movie so beautiful. There's a part where, when his son was about to go back to the airport after seeing her, after 20 plus years, he was like, you know, oh, and he said, they said goodbye to each other. And he was like, you're the one that's always living. Like, ah. This movie is the movie of the year, hands down. For a while now, I've been looking for a, a romantic movie that will have such like immensive experience. The last time I had such a beautiful experience watching a romantic movie, it was actually before the Sunrise um, the trilogy. So beautiful. The dialogues were beautiful, just like here in past lives. The fact that this movie is an experience, the cinematography, everything, like you're really immense in the entire process. You see how beautiful the city is. Five out of five. More movies like this, please. If you have seen past lives, let me know what you think in the comments. Bye.